Hi everybody. Based on feedback, I wanted to create a small short tutorial on how to use the workspace on a test in my math lab. It is different than what you've been used to. Let's take a look at it. I've created an item that you can open up infinitely many times and it doesn't count as part of your grade. It's just for fun. Just to teach you how to use this workspace feature. So here's our question. It's from the chapter on personal finance. This is not on the test. It's just something I picked at random. It looks like there's two questions we have to answer and I want to show my professor some work. So I'll click on the red show work box and I notice the first problem is the box covers up the problem and it's I can't move it around to see my to see the original problem. There's two ways around that. You can minimize it and then open it back up as needed. Or you can click on this uh, up arrow here to free it into its own browser that you can click and drag around. So let's try that. All right, I want to type some words. So I'll click on the text icon and then click inside the workspace. And you can change the font type, family and size, colors, etc. So I want to tell my professor, here's the absolute change. And that's going to equal the compared value, which is the new value, the 355 space, minus the reference value, which was the 660 back in the year 2005. And now I'll use my calculator to get that answer. It's going to be negative 305. I don't know if I need the dollar sign or not. Well, I'll find out. <laughs> and then hit enter to start a new line. And I'm, now I'm going to show my professor my work on how I calculated the relative change. And that's going to be a fraction. So I'm going to open up the math expressions. And right in there, I'll insert my math expression is going to be a fraction and in the numerator goes the same 355 minus the 660 down arrow in the denominator goes the reference value which is the 660 and then I'll hit right arrow to bring my cursor back up in line and what does that equal? Well it's going to be another fraction it's going to be the negative 305 down arrow over the 660, right arrow equals, and again I'll use my calculator to find that answer. It is negative 0 0.46212 two, dot dot dot, it goes on forever, but I'll round it off to when I type in my answer. But that's the work that I want to show my professor, so I'm going to save it. Make sure you write it down on scratch paper. And then we can type in the answers. The absolute change is minus 305. Just ask for an integer. I don't think I need a dollar sign, but we'll find out. The relative change, they're asking for it as a percent. See the percent sign? To the nearest tenth of a percent. So that decimal, I've got to change it to a percent. And to the nearest tenth of a percent, it's minus 46.2 percent. All right. And let's submit it. And hey, I got both questions correct. And if you want to review it, you can see your answers. If you want to see your work, you can see your work, and so can your professor. All right, I have the same question open here, but let's say it's, uh, and I'll show you how to do something a little more advanced using the math palette in the show work feature. I, let's say I want to show my professor that I want to calculate the monthly payment on a $100,000 personal loan to buy a home. According to the formula, it's PMT and it's a complex fraction. Let's start typing it in with the particular numbers from what I get when I open up the question. In the numerator, it's going to be the principal, which is 100,000, and it's going to be 
times, and inside there I need a fraction. And in the numerator of the fraction goes the interest rate changed to a decimal, which is, say, it's 5%. So that'll be 0 0.05. And in the denominator goes the number of payments per year. Let's say it's monthly. Close parentheses. And then down in the denominator, you've got a fairly complex expression. It starts with a left square bracket, 1 minus, then a left parentheses, and a 1 plus. And then you have another fraction, and uh, that's the same 0 0.05 over 12. And then close parentheses, and all that gets raised to a power. So I need the superscript symbol, and that'll be in the More menu. There it is. The power I'm going to raise it to is parentheses negative 12 times the number of years, which is 30, close parentheses. And then right arrow, and then you need a right square bracket to close out the denominator. So that's a fairly complicated expression, isn't it? Right arrow to bring the cursor back in line, and then hit an equal sign. And now you've got to use your calculator to come up with that. Or you could do it step by step and write out all your steps for potential partial credit. But if you made it this far, at least even if your answer is wrong, you might earn partial credit to show that you knew what the right formula was, you knew how to plug into it, and then when I get the answer, it should come out to 536.82 to the nearest cent. And then you would save that, type in your 536.82, and submit your test. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea on how to use the Show Work feature. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.